everyone in this video i'm gonna be showing you what we feed venus and apollo for one week like that you have more or less an idea of what they put in their meals like you guys know we have been feeding raw to venus since she was a puppy we start her at 13 weeks old if you see here if you go to our youtube page and you go to one of our oldest videos, I think it's like our second or third video that we ever upload. Venus 13 week old Alaska Malamute training. You will see that back then we were already introducing raw to her. So we've been doing it for six years and we love the results. We want to share with you what we feed them during the period of one week. I'm gonna be showing you mostly the big meals at night. But here and there, I'm gonna add also the snacks and I will add like the breakfast. If you're interested to see what they eat in one week, keep on watching. First, of course, we have to go to the groceries to buy fresh fruit and vegetables. On day one, we are starting with beef chic. Beef chic is pretty inexpensive, it's one of the cheapest cut of meats. Then we're gonna give one full breast of chicken per dog. And for bone, we're gonna give them oxtail. We buy the oxtail for us and we give them always one or two. Then we have our veggie mix. This veggie mix have broccoli, carrot, sweet potato, yellow squash, and turmeric. This is what we normally do for their veggie mix. Sometimes we tweak it a little bit. Then one large egg per dog, a handful of steamed green beans, and this is what they will eat on day one. One egg, veggie meat, chicken, oxtail, and green beans. On day two, we are gonna start with salmon. Salmon is really good for their fatty acids and their omegas. They don't like it raw. You could give it to them raw, but Venus and Apollo are very picky and they like it baked. The rest of the meal is pretty much the same as the day before, except this time it doesn't have egg and we add tripe and the salmon. On day 3 we run out of the veggie mix, so we have to do a new batch. Every batch that we do is a little bit different. Well, some of the things they always have is like the sweet potato and the carrots. Those two normally they always have it because they love them and they're easy to find, they're always on season. In this one is with green beans and turmeric this one we didn't found or we didn't have at home broccoli but a lot of times we add broccoli and different types of squash we boil it for a few minutes like 30 minutes and then we mash it with coconut oil coconut oil is great for dogs and they love the flavor Sometimes we get this huge beef brisket from the meat market. It's huge. This huge piece gives us meat enough for them for, I believe, like three, four. So, and it's also cheaper to buy it in, in such a big bulk. This piece was almost 15 pounds at less than $3 per pound. On day four, Pretty much the meal stay the same, but we add different toppers. We are adding hemp and sesame seed. Sesame seed and herb, they are great for dogs, especially the hemp. It's really good for their joints. Big dogs like Malamutes and other large breeds, they tend to suffer from hip dysplasia when they're older. So we like to give them things that boost their joints when now that they are younger. Wait. I'm gonna look. Good boy, go get it. Minus, get it.
on day six i started by doing a bigger veggie mix this one will last us like three days and this time i add um broccoli the last time we didn't have broccoli today they're getting chicken thigh like they're a lot smaller than breast i give them two to each for organ they're gonna have cow heart our local grocery store don't bring a lot of organs, so we get what we get and that's it. We are adding half a can of these uh, green tripe. This thing smells so bad. You have to have a strong stomach if you are going to feed this to your dogs. We are adding a little bit of fruit, in this case blueberry and raspberry their veggie mix and we also put um brisket and you have already seen the chicken Good boy, bunny. You ate it all. So after we cut them, I choose the two smallest one, one for Venus and one for Apollo. Normally, I give it to them right before their meal because they do a mess anyway. So this one looks pretty small, so this one will be for Venus. And have the bone. Venus? And this one for Apollo. For day 7 we are going to do a meatballs with beef, pork and veal, it's a meat mix that they sell in wild fork. For bone we are going to give them the whole quail, they're really small size so I'm going to give one to each as you can see they are super super tiny. These quails are the size of my hand so more or less they're the size of a breast or even smaller than a full chicken breast i'm gonna cut them in half like that they could reach easier the organs these come with the organs inside the heart and the liver and all the good stuff And for topper, I'm gonna put half a can of green tripe on each one and a little bit of hemp seed. Wait. Go get it. When they want a snack, a lot of times I give them yogurt. 
this one is a great option because this one has probiotics and is good for the digestive health it's from humans but all the ingredients are natural non-gmo and no added sugar to the yogurt we add real blueberries and raspberries And here we have our snack. 